Hello, welcome to the Armory Cape Town show. Um, I'm Alex Marsh. I'm joined here by by uh, George. How's it going, George? <laughs> last, minute, going, last minute co-host. <laughs> it was going well to you asked me last minute to co-host, and I've no <laughs> idea. What to do. I just want to inform our guests it's going to be a disaster tonight. It's just just thank everyone we we won today, so everyone's happy. So yeah. <laughs> it will be a, a roaring success, I've no doubt. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> So like Lauren Hardy running the Arsenal show. Let's 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 do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, um, yeah, uh, coming up, uh, we've got the usual uh, anagram. Um, do I need to add that to the screen? There we go. Uh, we've got the anagram coming up, and then we're, got, we're going to go through the weekend results and predictions. Have a look at uh, PSV, although I'd uh, prefer not to. Um, uh, have a look at the uh, Nottingham Forest um, uh, fixture, which was uh, awesome. Uh, then we're going to look through some uh, of your questions from the audience. Uh, and then we're going to do a little quiz, look ahead to the, to, uh, the upcoming fixtures, and then uh, an update on the predictor game. And uh, at the end, we will announce question of the show, uh, which I think that's going to be your job. That's going to be your main job, George, today. It's going to be question, question of the show. The show. You're going to pick yeah. the question of the show today. So I can do that. I can manage that, I think. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, so you've all got to be... Um, yeah, get those uh, get those questions coming in, guys, because uh, there'll be a little section for you. Um, also, um, uh, remember to tune into the the Going Truth, which is Ronnie's uh, podcast, where he takes a bit of a deep dive into uh, all things Arsenal related. Very good show. Cool. Um, right. Uh, what's the anagram of the day? Um, it is coming up. I think we're going to get into it. <laughs> Jesus. <You're> getting <laughs> <laughs> a juiced asparagus adora there we go that is the wow. anagram of today <laughs> have you figured it out yet george no you're man always, no, no, you're always no, pretty no, hot on these crazy. you're always I, I really hot on one of them being brady that was easy you know yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, this, this one this one is it's, it's, it is too yeah. much but uh well i'll give you I'll give you a, shall i give you a clue now it no, leave, be, leave, leave it for now. It's probably a player from the 60s, some, some obscure player from the 60s. No one's ever heard of. <laughs> anyway. it's, it's not. It's not. It's a more, much more recent player. Um, but Okay, that's, that's a clue. All right. It, it, recent it, yeah, more, much more recent-ish player. Say from the, from the, from the noughties, yeah. Okay. Uh, kind of, anyway, okay, we'll see. We'll see. From the noughties, right. or was he from? Yeah, 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 about the noughties. Right. Um, we should bring the other guests in. Um, also Let's today we've got uh, we've got Ivan. How's it going, Ivan? Oh, good. Thank you. You good. guys. Yeah, yeah. Good. Thank you. Um, and uh, also we've got uh, Glenman. How's it going, Glenman? I'm um, good. Thanks for having me, man. It's a pleasure. Good. Yeah. It's good to have you on. Thank you. Uh, Morgan's saying not many clues, Alex, later. So uh, any ideas, by the way, guys, before we get into it on the anagram? Not a clue. No? Oh, it's nice and hard. That's good. I thought, I thought, I thought I'd have by your, but then there's no Y. I saw no. the ADs, not of ADs, but yeah, yeah no, it's not. <laughs> I feel like we've uh, sort of uh, infiltrated the show here, George. It's just like a couple of uh, British guys hosting the South African show. <laughs> 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 taken over <laughs> I think, I think, but we both did our time in cape town though so i think we did our prison sentence in cape town so we don't... <laughs> we're, we're allowed to be on <laughs> um awesome right so um a roundup of the uh the fixtures um uh, weekend update uh do we have to look at the europa thing first oh yeah so um yeah uh psv um let's have a, a talk about that did you watch that game I, I watched i didn't watch yeah. all of it thankfully yeah i watched it unfortunately in fact ever since i got criticized on the show for not watching europa league games i've started watching them a bit more <laughs> <Have> you... <laughs> how's that working out for you <laughs> yeah. aren't you really glad that uh, we persuaded you to watch them Oh dear God, Jesus! I hate the Europa League even more now. I can't stand it. I, I kept telling you, Alex, there was a shopping centre behind the, one of those Norwegian game. There was a big building. I didn't know what it was. I, I think just something just clicked in me. I was like, "We've got to get out of this league." You know, we've just had enough of playing these Thursday nights in obscure yeah. leagues. You know, we're just Champions League for us next year, man. Absolutely. Yeah. 
Well, um, one of the guys that sits next to me in the ground is also a season tick holder. And um, he went to the PSV game and uh, uh, he said it was dreadful. Like, to watch the game, you had to watch it through a massive perspex screen, which had loads of scratch marks in it and stuff. Really? These huge perspex screens, like, separates them. And they have to, like, look through this thing. It's like, it's awful. And then they've got, like, mesh netting as well on the top of I that. I saw the mesh. Yeah, I saw yeah, the mesh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, it's to separate the the away fans from the from the home fans, huge perspex screen. It's like, and of course, if you're on the edge and you're, uh, I think they were sort of based in the corner basically, and but um, there's a there's a bit where you're sort of on the on the lengthways part of the pitch where you're sort of facing side onto the pitch, but you're not because you're in the corner. So so you got to turn around, but then you, all you see is perspex essentially rubbish absolutely rubbish mm. awful anyway um apparently the atmosphere is amazing there but uh view was rubbish and uh the result was even worse what did you guys uh, ivan what did you make of the game yeah it uh it was disappointing to say the least i mean i didn't think we played too badly until we got to the last third of the of the of the pitch and then we just seem to have no clue you know how to get mm. any further it's it was mm. uh yeah it, it wasn't our best game let's put it that way yeah do you think that uh do you think that we played too many first team players in that game i look i think that um Arteta had his had his reasons to play the gay guys he did because he wanted to have this week's game you know, off. He wanted to give all our all the senior guys the 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 day, the day off, but now he can't. So it backfired a little bit. But um, I think we we missed some key players in terms of our fluidity. Um, we just really, you know, we we did okay in you know in the first and second third of the of the of the field. But when we got in front of goals, sure, uh, I, I really am worried if we've if uh, Nketiah is going to have, if we're going to have to rely on him to play up front, you know, if uh, mm. Jesus gets injured. So, um, yeah. but then again, everybody has bad days. Maybe we had too many who had bad days on the same day. So, yeah. Mm. Um, Glenwyn, do you think that um, a couple of the guys that came into that, that starting lineup, do you think uh, Sam Bilakonga and, uh, and Rob Holding did a, did a suitable job or do you think that there were, they were a bit substandard. Um, man, it, 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 to me, to be honest with you, they they lack a lot of a lot of flair. Um, they lack quite a bit of, of fight, really. Of what they've done in previous games, I mean, PSV is obviously a total different side to um, Bodo and and Zurich. Um, but what I thought of the game was. They knew they just had to go for the draw, and I mean, we were luck. We were we were lagging our, our feet. The body language wasn't good. Um, we we sort of just played the game as if they were told just go out and control the game by having the possession, and it didn't work for us. And I mean, um, there was five goals scored, and three of those were were, were disallowed. By the first one. They should have realized that these guys are going to score. And they should have realized that we can't just keep the ball and not doing anything about it. They didn't, it, it, it looked to me that they didn't really want to press through and didn't want to really go mm. for the goal. Um, that is how it looked. And, and, and um, by the first disallowed goal, they should have realized, hey, but we are in trouble here. And the second one came, the third one came, the, the, the official goals that stood, that came. And then, of course, the last one also disallowed. So um, we were totally out of it. And I think our mindset was wrong. Um, we came in to probably, in my opinion, is that we came in to, to draw the game because we already we already uh, uh, um, qualified for the next round. So um, to go to PSV and, 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 and think that you're going to just get a draw is, is that is totally bollocks. Eh? 
<laughs> yeah, fair enough. <laughs> I'm actually glad that I missed most of the game. I misjudged the timing. I caught the beginning of it, and I and I saw the first disallowed goal, and <laughs> and uh, and I came back at about 75 minutes or something like that, and uh, uh, I was like, oh, well, I don't really want to see the highlights of this. <laughs> but, <laughs> there weren't any. <laughs> yeah, there weren't any. There wasn't, us, there no. wasn't any. You're right, though. <laughs> and, uh, what makes it what makes it worse for me is it's rude Van. It's Van Nistelrooy's team, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, that's, the, that's what makes it. Oh, did did he say Arsenal fans should be thanking him for missing that penalty? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give him credit for a bit of banter, a bit of good. Bit yeah. Of yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, but then you know, without him, Vieira would have never been sent off. <laughs> True. It always makes me laugh, you know, with that game actually. Um, how Man United fans can justify him, him like jumping into the back of Vieira with his knee, <laughs> and that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> and like landing on top of it, it, it was just like, oh my god, how has he got away with that? And and um, yeah, and then he got sent off. Anyway, distant memory. <laughs> um, all I re- most most of what I remember from that game is Martin Keown and his uh, and his and his classic yeah. pose jumping all over him. <laughs> yeah, <I> feel, yeah. <laughs> he's forever also, remembered for that, when he. <laughs> Alex, yeah. when you look at when you look at the groups, there, I mean. We can't go and draw on Thursday. We can't. No. We have to win. Because if, if PSV goes and win that game, they're going to be, well, if we draw, we're going to go 13. They're going to be on the same points, but their goals is more than us. So they will top the top the table. Mm. So we're going to... Some big, big teams um, that are due to drop yeah. out, isn't there? Because we are, we yeah, got Barcelona, Barcelona we've got Atletico and IX. Juventus. Look like they're all gonna go. Yeah, mm. Ajax maybe as well. Um, Barcelona. Yeah. No, they I mean, any, dropped, any, yeah. Anything they're can really... happen in Spurs' group as well. I mean, there's yeah. only isn't there like two points or is it is it yeah. two points? Is the parade fourth from first? I it's, think they yeah, have to win. They have to beat Marseille. Yeah. Marseille. Which yeah. that's not going to be easy. I don't think winning yeah, in Marseille. No. Um, we will get a draw. I mean, you know, it's destiny. We're going to face him in the in the later stages, don't you? Like, it's <laughs> in the <laughs> final. Spurs yeah. Arsenal <laughs> final. I'll be in Budapest. If we face him in Budapest, that would be amazing. We've been through. I think Budapest will get turned over, won't it? If it's full of Arsenal, Arsenal and Spurs fans, <laughs> it's just be absolute carnage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. miss it as well, yeah. uh, I mean, you know how well those uh, the Arsenal Spurs uh, fixtures are policed and have been in, in England, but let's left to their own devices in a foreign country in the Eastern Bloc. You go, oh god. <laughs> yeah, I, I find I find those English fans behave when they're a bit worried about the police. You know, like, I think you know Hungarian police are a bit dodgy. So they it's like South Africa when they came to South Africa. All the questions I got from English fans was how bad are the prisons, as if I'd know. You know, what I, mean? <laughs> <laughs> I think I'd be a bit more better behaved, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, we were poor. I, I mean, we've got to get through against Zurich, haven't we? Really, that's the main thing. Um, and, and Zurich have looked poor. They were incredibly poor when we played them um, in Zurich. Um, so, hopefully, we can do the business and uh, and finish top of that group. Um, but do you think we're gonna? Do you think we're going to field our, our reserve team, full reserve team against um, uh, against Zurich? I, th- I think I think we should at least have our defence a strong defence. Um, maybe put Holding out there and 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 um, put put in um, what's his face uh, White and 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 Tommy on his actual spot. And put white in 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 the space of uh, Saliba, and Gabby and then Tierney, and the rest. I mean, you can all obviously play play with whoever because white and Tierney can come into the the, the midfield on attack or whatever, like they normally do. Mm. I mean, not white, um, Tommy, if he plays right back. Yeah, uh, I think that makes sense. Um, I, th- I, I yes. think we'll sorry, sorry. no go for it, George. I think we'll start probably with a with a second like what we've got of a second team because we haven't got many you know we've got thin squad mm. but then I, I feel that if we do then if we struggle then he'll bring on the big boys like he always does last mm. last 25. I think he probably you... will 
yeah. could, he's got to give us enough time. You know, if uh, if he is going to bring up, if he has to bring on the big guns, mm -hmm. um, because in the first game, I mean, what they came in for 10, 15 minutes, you can't change a game in that time, especially yeah. when you make so many changes. Great. Mm -hmm. That's what that's why I'm saying. If you start the four of them and and mm. keeping in mind that Chelsea's at the weekend, you'll yeah. get get enough time to 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 kill off the game, get um, White off, get Tommy off, and bring in the other guys in and and see. Uh, how they can control the game, but if you like, like you say, Ivan, if you're gonna get like 15 minutes to change the game, should Zurich come and score and come out guns blazing, then we're gonna mm. be in trouble. Yeah, Those yeah. guys are gonna be more tired for 15 minutes to chase the game than having about 60, 60 odd minutes from the start. You know yeah. what I'd do? I'd actually start with a strong team and then score a couple of goals and bring them all up. And bring exactly. them up. Mm -hmm. I think that'd be a better way than than risking the other way. You know? maybe because mm. i don't think our second team is strong enough i mean one thing so, that pro thursday proved is when we play out basically our, our second team players aren't aren't up to scratch when they're when they're when they're putting the pressure so i'd be a bit yeah. worried about it, you know? mm. i think zero could be up for it as well they've got nothing to lose have they no nah. well they really. can still qualify for uh, what is it the conference league the, the, the reserve league in the yeah <laughs> Conference league. Yeah. God, Conference, there we go. Yeah. I mean they can they could still qualify for that. So I'm yeah. sure that uh we'll be yeah. that. Yeah, go that's if it. if PSV wins Bode, yeah, and they come and win yeah. Arsenal, obviously. How come PSV so, got such a massive goal difference? What, what game did they thrash? Didn't they team? didn't they destroy it was yeah. well, I don't know if it was, was so, it Bode? They beat both Odo and Zero 5-0 and 5-1. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, can I just say, we're losing one thing. PSV are not a bad team, mate. I, I wouldn't be I surprised agree. if we see them in the quarters of semis. Because, like, you know, that Cody, yeah. that Xavi, they were good, man. They're fast. I mean, I think us are just a bit, a bit subdued and maybe a bit in awe. You know, but, but at their yeah. ground, I think they, they, you know, they showed us no respect and they showed us what they could do. So I wouldn't be surprised if we see. And one thing I've got to say is that all these teams dropping down, a friend of mine actually made the point. They're not that good. Barcelona. I think we could beat them right Yeah, right, right. I think we could beat them as well. And Juve yeah. as well. Maybe not Atletico, but yeah, well, well, it will be a tough game rather. But I think Juve and Barca, they're, they're, but yeah. PSV, they look good. They look good. Yeah, I think we I'll underestimate I'll... Our, 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 ourselves sometimes. I mean, yeah. Yeah, I think we could yeah. we can probably beat most of the top teams in Europe, to be honest, on a good day with our full-strength mm. squad. That's my, yeah. that's what I think. Um, uh, right, let's move on from the Europa League for now. Um, and move on to uh, the weekend's uh, fixtures, which were some interesting results in there. Um, where's the graphics team? Change of slide, please. <laughs> no? Okay. <laughs> Don't, change for coffee. Don't change it then. <laughs> um, well, take the we... opportunity to welcome Elion. Yeah. Hey, How's it, Alex? Going, Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I did bring you on there, and I was sort of like, <laughs> "Hey, yeah, how are you it's doing? Good right? chat. Yeah. yeah, good. Sorry, but but late to the party. Got to put two kids down now instead of one. It's a little more difficult." Uh, yeah, yeah, I know that feeling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. Uh. Yeah. So, um, at the weekend we've got. Uh, let me just um see if I can. Well, the graphics team is definitely dead. Um. Um, did, did anyone see any of the other fixtures other than the Arsenal game? Did anyone uh, anyone see that uh, Brighton Chelsea game? I did. Oh, that was a very odd game, huh? Some very like, good. Yeah. Yeah, I, think game, I, I think I think I said before when I saw them against Brighton, Brentford a few weeks ago, and I was just you know, I just got a bit sad because you know they've lost all their great players to big teams, you know, and it's it's so sad to see a team like Brighton get stripped, you know, Potter. Mm. Uh, Kukurella, um Bissouma, and to watch them beat the team that stripped them was was calm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good for them. Good for Brighton. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think <laughs> um, I saw this. Uh, I saw this little video clip of uh, of uh, Potter celebrating at two 0 down. Did, did anyone see that one? Everyone. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, did do you think he made the right decision to go? Do you think he um, to, to Chelsea? Do you think it will be a, a short-lived career? It's big risk, right in the middle of the season as well. Take a big risk. Yeah. 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 I think that, mm. yeah. I think the new owners of Chelsea needed a new project because 
they don't know much of football and 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 i i like graham potter he's a project man i mean he's he's done well at brighton and uh, he's had a, a good project at brighton and i think for that tenacity of of what he showed at brighton i thought the the, the owners of chelsea like that and um and I, and i think even before um they made a deal with tuchel they 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 knew that they're going to look at somebody to to replace him after after the the the, the um, summer summer window so it was a challenge for for him to go i think but um in my opinion i think he's he's made the right call being an english young young um manager that can show that maybe the next manager for the england squad should be him i think as well what it does is it gives the opportunity for the owners to not have to keep firing a manager every now and again you know they can say well he's a young manager it gives them two years gives them time to settle into football as well yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's no reason why he can't do what Eddie Howe has done, you know, over the last few years. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I agree. Um, Liverpool. Let's talk about <laughs> Liverpool. <laughs> well, their misery continues, doesn't it? Um, is there... Uh, where is it all going wrong for Liverpool, do you think? Dude, someone could write a dissertation on that. It's fascinating. Man. I mean, it like, how, what is going on? I mean, I, I personally think they're midfield. No one talks enough about that. Mm. The Hendersons and stuff, they're, they're getting too old. Everyone talks about Mane leaving. I think that was a big thing. But I also think that their midfield is getting old now and they, they're really showing it. And it's not just Arnold and Van Dijk not pulling through. It's mm. I think they've got a problem all over the pitch all of a sudden. It just shows, yeah? just shows one one year you're top of the you know top of the roost and then next year you Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. Made me laugh uh, they haven't added as soon anything. as this comment. No, they haven't. Yeah, no. Uh, maybe, the well, they have. Field in five the years. thing is, they, they have added players, though, haven't they? I mean, they brought in Jota. I mean, and he, he loves Jota, Nunes, Diaz. I mean, that's that's three people they brought in, and they've only and they've lost one, which is Mane. Um, you know. Wijnaldum. Midfield. Wijnaldum. Yeah. They lost Wijnaldum. They brought in, in the last four years, they've brought in Keita and Arthur Miller. So I mean that shows you that that midfield's aging and it's struggling. I mean Fabinho looks yeah. terrible and I love it. <laughs> the um, uh, the fullback. Well, Alexander Arnold's having a mare, isn't he? Yeah. Is, is he going to go to England, do you reckon, or not? Is he, what to the World Cup? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Well, we we the thing is we're so short on right backs at the moment, aren't we? Um, because we got um. Uh, what's his name? The the Chelsea right back. He's uh, injured, isn't he? He's James. He's yeah. James. He's James. Kyle yeah, Walker. he's injured. Carl Walker's injured. So, do you think? Do you guys think Ben White will go to the uh, to the World Cup? Unfortunately, I think he will. Yeah, because mm. I think he's yeah. he's hot right now. Yeah, he's ascending. He's but he's doing pretty well he's, for he's, us. He's... I don't see any reason why he wouldn't get picked. I think it'd be more the of a thing surprise. Is he's got added value. Picked. Yeah, he's got added value in that he's not only a right back, well, in fact, he isn't a right back. He's versatile, you're right. He's very versatile. He can play center off, he can push forward. So he could play right side of the three. Also, also, um, um, what's his Phillips? Phillips guy that plays for City now, he's also out. So, I mean, they don't have much of a a defensive midfield, uh, England, that is. I'm not sure who they're going to use really in that position. So White being right back, centre half, and midfielder, I mean three, three in one. So surely Southgate have to look at him, and and he can be in a conversation at the right back as well. I'm 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 saying he's better than Maguire, at, at centre half. Uh, he's better than um, what's his face that you mentioned now from from Liverpool. Um, he's been showing oh, yeah. that he is very consistent in every position he's played so far. So I mean, or, or both only those two positions, but he's been very consistent in those two positions. And also the fact that he can come into the in the centre and and give a, an extra midfielder uh, the way we are playing now that gives a huge huge positive to his his character. Um, Newcastle, are they going to get top four? I hope. <laughs> you hope. <laughs> well, as long as it's not at our expense. Yeah. Yeah. 
don't know. Does anyone hate As that? Like, I don't know. After Man City, I think I'm worried about them, eh? I mean, they look solid at the back now. I mean, they look hard to beat. So that mm. they could creep up there. I mean, there's, there's no other team. I think Chelsea, Liverpool, uh, sorry, Chelsea, Man U are going to slip a bit. I think they're the ones that are going to be most consistent after Man City. So I think they're the ones to watch. We've got to be really careful. Yeah. We're playing in early January. So that's one to watch. I'm going to go through each of you. What's your predicted top four at the end of the season? Mm. Alex? Oh, I'm going to go City, Arsenal, United Spurs. United Spurs. Glenn, um, My original prediction from the beginning of the season, I'm going to stick to that for now. Uh, come January, I'll probably change change to to whatever's happening. It will be City. It was Liverpool. Uh, it was Arsenal. And then, of course, Chelsea. Um, that in my, I still have that in my mind because I, for consistency's sake, Liverpool can still maybe do top four mathematically uh, mm. because of the, the amount of games that's left. Yeah. Um, but come January, I might have to change my tune there. So I'll stick to my, my prediction first um, was, was City, then Liverpool, Arsenal, and then uh, Chelsea. That is uh, unfortunate uh, on record, so I'll stick to that for now. <laughs> <laughs> Ivan? Yeah, I think City from Arsenal, and then I'm going to say United, and then Newcastle. Mm. I think I think we need a dark horse. So um, I think Newcastle as 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 the fourth place, and I think United are slowly coming into some form. Yeah. And uh, you know when they get going, when they get up, I mean. Last year, they didn't have a great year, but the year before, they finished second. So, uh... Someone has uh, someone has put Arsenal at the top. There we go. Some belief there. <laughs> <laughs> George, what are you... What, 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 what I are think you, in this week, more, I mean, I'm meant to be doing panels, so Morgan's saying, can we fire this panel? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Yeah. I think we're just being realistic, man. We're just being, you know, trying to be. Yeah, yeah. we don't like to be realistic. Don't like to. Come on, dude. Yeah. Man City got a robot. Come on. Yeah. They're, these, they're reprogramming. They're just rebooting them at the moment. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, Listen, I'm no, but that's we also being left to, to be surprised. Sorry. No. Yeah. We're going to be surprised. We, we as so fans, we obviously have, have an expectation. Like... Sorry, Ali. Yeah. Do you know what? At the beginning of this, this season, I, I made a I made a prediction, and everyone laughed at me. So I'm going to keep my mouth shut until the end of the season. And then if we finish in that position, I'm going to be like, ah, I, should, I, I said it, I said it was going to end like this. Um. Anyway, I'm not going to tell but you. But you're going to you're going to have to reveal it if we all can agree with you. Uh, you did say so. Yeah. <laughs> to, to be honest, yeah, go on. I will tell you. It's not it. Uh, I did say that Man City. I, I said that. I think we would finish second, and I think we would finish above either Man City or Liverpool. And uh, everyone laughed at me, so <laughs> uh, it's it's looking good so far. I don't want to jinx mm. it though, but um, anything can happen. And there's so many games left, and the fixtures will start to pile up. And we've got Carabao Cup still, and we've got FA Cup, oh. and we've got Europa League, and we've got the league. So um, and, and we're going to cram everything in after Christmas, aren't we? Yeah, it's going to be tough. Well, it's I want to say, I want, I want to say one thing, Alex. On on everybody saying that Arsenal can take the league, there's no doubt that we can. We stand tra very huge chance to do so. But mm -hmm. are we not creating expectation for ourselves? Um, I mean, I'm not. I'm, I'm I'm sure they have it in the back of their mind that they can challenge. But we as fans have that ability to put expectations on a team that we ourselves are at the end of the day um, disappointed with because our expectations was too high. So it's dangerous for us to do expectations on, on Arsenal to win the league. The chances are there as, as it stands now, but come game 38 and we're not there, how disappointed will we be like we were last season and 
uh, with the fifth place where we had it all in the bag for fourth. So um, we can't get carried away to say that Arsenal will le- win the league. That is possible. But yeah. um, we will fall on our face very hard if we expect that from them now. Yeah, yeah. great. I think when we come back after Christmas, after the World Cup, rather, we've got um, West Ham on Boxing Day, Brighton on the 31st, I think then Newcastle, then Tottenham. I think those four games, if we do well again, if we get like 10 points out of 12 out of those four games, I'm going to start believing. That's when I'll start believing, after mm. the World Cup. It's going to be crucial, isn't it, those first few few games after yeah. the World Cup? Yeah, absolutely. And it'll be, it'll, be tell- it'll be interesting to see how tired players are as well after mm. the World Cup. Um, uh, well, to be to be honest, I'm not so sh- I'm not sure that uh, England are going to go all the way. So they might have some extra days off. How dare you? Obviously going to win the <laughs> obviously going to win the World Cup. Come on! I love oh, being proved. I love being proved <laughs> wrong. But gee, was they they haven't been playing well. Yet. Are you talking about the female side, Alex? Or <laughs> <laughs> they stay. They stay in a very good chance to win the. I'm, just, the I'm, I'm the, living the in 1966. <laughs> Speak, speaking of which, Warren asked actually, well, how bad is Saka's injury? Uh, I don't. I think it's a twisted ankle. But um, can I just be honest on here to the panel? I'm kind of hoping it's three or four weeks. It puts him out of the World Cup. Yeah. I, I, I'm sorry to be cynical and dark about it, but oh, I'd be. Nice. I'd be delete- that. That's really yeah. selfish, George. We've got, we've got to that it's stage where we prioritise club Greek. over country. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Greek, dude. What does that mean? <laughs> and, well, I, and I made that statement last season. He played every game. Yeah, yeah, I mean, exactly. and the season before, yeah. and the season before. I mean, he's yeah. overplayed. I'm sure. Yeah. Uh, um, predictions? Do we have the predictions? Or we've gone straight into the um, like. Oh yeah. So um, mm-hmm. no one got the Forest score right. Um, I think. I think people um, over-predicted for the Southampton game and reined it in a little bit for Forrest, but um, yeah, it was nice to see a smash Forrest. Wolfie got it right for the PSV game. What a bastard. <laughs> <laughs> it's all his fault. Mr. Arteta out himself. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, yeah, form card. So, yeah, other than that PSV um, fixture, we've been doing pretty well. The Southampton game, uh, we just looked really tired. And I was sort of expecting it to go the same way against Forest, but it didn't. Um, but um, we seem to pull it out of the bag. So, um, let's get on to that game. Um, before you go, game. there's a question that I see uh, on, 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 on from Yasin. Uh, Alex, um, he's asked the question earlier on regarding um, our form against the Saints and PSV is the wake-up call. Yeah, that one. This one. It was started. Yeah. I was going to bring it in later on. Yeah. Um, okay. I'll bring it. I'll bring it in later on, and then. Um, no, sorry, no problem. Yeah, right. do you want a co-host? Do you want to take over? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm, being, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be sacked. I feel sure. We've, nah, we've, uh, go we've got it, a little man. bit of a problem with the co-host sort of side of things. As, as I you're mentioned, doing a good, you're doing um, a good job. George, George doesn't have actually have access to be able to show comments and star the comments, so it's a little bit awkward for him. It's a lose lose situation. <laughs> He's doing his best. <laughs> um, so let's go on to the Forest game. Um, predictable lineup is. Um, are we, are we happy with Tommy Asu at left back still? Well, well, well hang on a sec. Where is Inchenko? Yeah, I thought he had a niggle. It's a five-week niggle. niggle. Is he, he going to fight in Russia? Where has he gone? He's, he's probably in the Ukraine, is he? Yeah, half, half, yeah. <laughs> yeah I mean, it's it's a bit of a that's a bit of a mystery though, because I mean, like, it's, no one's talking about that. I thought he just had a niggle after training or something, and then he's been yeah. gone for like five weeks. Yeah. Oh, oh believe me, I was talking about it. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, um, but he seemed to do a decent job, didn't he? Tommy Asu, yeah, did, yeah, left back, yeah. didn't really have much for us, did they? At all, no. really. The only, I think the only things that they had was what we gave them in the first half. Other than that, I don't. don't can, I, can I just them. say that with, with Tommy and KT last season, we loved them. You know, do you remember they are most mm. solid players? And now we're questioning. I think someone, um, Ashraf, actually asked, "Is Tierney now our third choice left back?" 
Mm. You know what I mean? I mean and it's, it's, it's so strange, you know, from one season to the next. You know, we, we thought there are better. KT, certainly, you know, we, we all wanted him to be captain. But now, we, you know, we're, we're, we're talking like this. Yeah. I yeah. think it brought, well, his, his injuries really put him out of, out of contention for first and second because he's no good to us when he's injured. Um, somebody said yesterday in, an, in another show or WhatsApp group that I'm on, is that um, we're going to lose Tierney if if he keeps playing um, Tommy Asu on left back next season. So, I mean, even if we lose Tierney and he can't stay fit for a complete season, I don't think it will be that much of a lo loss um, because when he's injured, he doesn't really do anything for us anyway. Mm. So, um, yeah, that's a bit harsh, but that's the reality of it. I think he needs to play a bit in in the first team um and i think the the you know the more he plays i think the better he will become he hasn't he hasn't shown that he's ready you know to take uh, tomiyasu's place uh, but i do think he needs to be given the chance to 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 shine in that in that uh, squad and i think he'll get better if he does yeah can, um, I think Morgan asks here, can anyone on the panel redeem themselves and explain why Tierney has fallen out of favour? Um, yeah, did he bring a deep fried Mars bar to a practice match? Why has he fallen out of favour? It's an interesting question. Is it because I mean, of this whole... It, go on, Ali. With oh, Arteta playing these in inverted... Um, wing backs, especially on the left hand side, that maybe Tierney's not as solid on his right foot playing the ball back through the middle of the field. Um, mm. Just since he signed for us, he has either defended really well or just bombed up the wing. Um, mm. And in yeah. terms of holding that position going into the midfield, I don't know if he is that kind of player, like Zinchenko's done and Tommy Asu's just mm. as solid. So I don't know if mm. that fits into the system. It's interesting. I, 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 just before the um, just before the match started, I was uh, I was watching Tommy and the warm up, um, and uh, he was he was crossing or, or doing quite a lot of practice crosses with his left foot, um, and I thought, oh, we'll be in for some crosses. And to be fair to him, he did put in a couple of absolute peach crosses with his left foot. Um, it, it was quite impressive, and I just thought. Well, he can cut inside, and he's, he, 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 did, he was cutting inside quite a lot during that game, sort of playing that sort of Jinchenko kind of role. Uh, mm. and, he's, and, he can, and he's got that bit of his, to his game where he can cut outside and put in a cross with his wrong foot. I thought that's quite impressive. I don't see Tierney being that versatile, really. Do you guys? Tommy, Tommy is, is two-footed, so he, he can play across the back. Uh, from right to left, so he's two-footed, and yes, you, you're right, he, he did that a couple of times. And also, I, I saw Tierney yesterday at one stage that he was on the right-hand side. How he got there, I don't know, and I think he, he went through the middle when he got the ball from somewhere, and, in, and he was on the right-hand side, and he had to come back on his left to, to give the ball back. So that is a, a huge issue, and Ali, you're right by saying that He's just up and down the left, coming into the midfield. He, he can't use his right foot to 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 change the game um, as often we would like to see. So um, Tommy is the good example of a player with two foot, two feet. Sorry. Um, yeah. So he can use both both feet to to do whatever we need him to do. Yeah. Fair <laughs> enough. Who who thought? Who, hands up. Who thought when Saka went off injured? That uh, Reese Nelson would come on. Sure. Well, 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 who else do we have? He, he is injured. I mean, who else do we have? It had to be I thought, I thought oh, Vieira is going to come on. Vieira could have been, could have been Vieira. It could have been uh, Marquinhos, I suppose. Uh, no, I, I would have liked to have seen Marquinhos. Yeah. Mm. yeah, maybe Marquinhos. I thought, I mean, I, I actually like, I mean, it's interesting. I've had three conversations about Nelson now. I think it's a few people have brought it. Uh, Wolfie said, super proud and delighted for Nelson. That's what you want from a squad player, grabbing an opportunity with a man of the match performance, not not. Um, I, I, I actually, I thought he had one or two cameos in Europa this season. I thought it was quite good. I, he's I, aggressive, he's fast, he yeah, runs I thought, at play. He's just, definitely and then, thought uh, Nelson is shows... he's played in the Europa games. So, sorry, Ali? What was that, Alex? 
carry on, George. No, just um, I think I lost my place. No, I'm just saying. I think uh, after in the shows, people were saying, you know, not no, happy sorry. with him. You know, and I was, no, it just uh, that was from earlier. I just had a connection lost. Alex, the show's finished. You're still there. I was just so delayed, mate. <laughs> uh, uh. Sorry, mate. No, no, I think I've done that. Yeah, I'm just saying that. I yeah. think I think Nelson it was. He, see, he looked. Someone said though he's been there for five years since 2016, and I know he's been on loan a couple of times, but he hasn't really done much. You know, you, you know what I mean. So uh, they're saying, well, he's he's, he's 22 now. He should have done something by now. But I think you know, look at Ramsey. It took him like five seasons or three seasons, you know, to get to where he was. So I don't think that's fair. You know, I think he looks a solid player to me. He looks a good he goal looked, post. He's attacking. He looked, Sorry, can't yeah, he looked he looked exciting, didn't he? Yeah. He looked, uh, well, I, I think I thought the one thing that was lacking from his game the last time he was sort of featuring in the first team, and that I think was really when Arteta first joined Arsenal, wasn't it? I think in his first game, I think he played Nelson in his first game, and uh, and then he sort of drifted out of the the team a little bit, and then he went on loans and all the rest of it. But but um, I think he lacked the ability to or, or the confidence to run at p people and take people on. Um, it sort of got to the point where he was just making a quick, easy pass. Um, but he looked sort of, he, he looked like he was getting in all sorts of troubling places for Forrest yesterday. Um, not just down the wing, but sort of in the center as well. I yeah. mean, you know, for that, for, for his, um, for his second goal. I mean, you know, that's a proper Fox in the box kind of poachers goal, isn't it? That? Yeah. Mm. Um, I, was, uh, I think I think with Nelson, uh, I thought he's gonna he's gonna go the same way as Angelie Maitland Niles did. Um, he had a couple of chances um, when M Mikhail came in. He had ample chance to show show himself. I thought he's gonna go on to loan also again in the summer and until he got injured. And um, what a what a blessing in disguise for him to be injured and come back into the squad now. Um, and scored two easy goals. I've got a stat, a stat of of his first goal, and I think it was a year and 107 days that he scored his first goal, Premier League goal, and between his first and his second, and between his second and his third was three minutes and one second yesterday. So before yesterday, he had uh, um, a year and... 107 days before he scored his second Premier League goal, and the mm -hmm. second to the third, uh, three minutes and one second. That was so quick of of how he could show what he could do. I don't know, yeah. it makes sense. Another interesting stat was he's got the same number of goals in one performance and assists as uh, Sancho has in ten games. Yeah, mm. uh, true. <laughs> eh? <laughs> um. So uh, I'm going to show a couple of a few questions now from the audience. Um, if Saka is injured for Sunday versus Chelsea, who would you prefer to play in that position? You've got to go, Reese. Well, on the performance yeah. from Sunday, you've got to go. Yes, it has to be. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you've got to you give him that confidence. Oh. Him. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I think yeah. he's earned his uh, earned his starting place, hasn't he? Would you play him? Would you play him in the Europa League as well? You have to. You got to give him that chance. I mean, Mikhail has to put his arm around him and say, "Riz boy, uh, you showed us what you can do. So keep this confidence and you know just build the guy up. Uh, he's young, he's hungry, and after the performance of yesterday, getting the man of the match of, of of such a game, he has to start on Thursday and on Sunday because we don't have." Um, a Fabio that can do what uh, Saka or oh, he's done yesterday. We don't have a Marquinhos that can do what he's done yesterday. So he has to be that number one. Mm. Even if he only uh, gets 60 minutes or so. Exactly. In the yeah. Europa League. Yeah. Um, fair enough. Um, is Sambi Lekonga, will Sambi Lekonga make it at Arsenal? Mm. But uh, Granit Jack is gone. No. Nah. That's that is his preferred position where he's going to play that little An bit eight. more of a box to box. What, the, uh, yeah. The, 
the advanced role. Yeah, he's not really a CDM, is he? He's not really a defensive no. midfielder. I think he gets. I, I don't personally. I don't think his positional sense is that great either. Um, but maybe it's because he was expected to do that defensive midfielder role. Oh, yeah. Certainly in the United game, also in the um, in the PSV game. I mean, he just lost his man, didn't he? I mean, it, it, it seemed to me it was a bit lazy, to be honest. But but um, yeah, I don't know. The jury's the jury's out for me. Um, can anyone uh, does anyone see think he's got loads of potential? I can see him starting. Um, <laughs> look, El Nene is almost back, so I think El Nene will take. If should if anything should happen to to Partey, El Nene will take that spot of starting. Um, I think yeah, Lukonga should not go on loan for a full season. I prefer him going on loan in in the Premier League to to get some good good minutes and show uh, what he can do like a team very low on the on 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 the ranking um because he's that type of player that can maybe fall into a a a a, a bottom rank team and maybe come from there and show that he can have that experience to come back into the arsenal squad as a squad player but he will never be a starter for me in arsenal yeah, yeah. well yeah. we're missing Xhaka on thursday aren't we yes we yeah. are. i can't play so yeah. The Congo must probably come in. Yeah. But that means playing. Well, Who else did you play in midfield, though? Party. Do you want to risk party before the Chelsea game? No. Yeah. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> no, maybe not. Um, uh, a comment here by Brandon. Uh, we missed Smith Rowe. I was, I was saying this to uh, to Ray at the game. Um, I think we like that. Do you, do you think? Do you think we miss him a lot? Who's Smith, well, who's Smith Rowe again? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that Sorry, guy that's that you harsh. Bring, that, that guy that you can bring. Yeah, no, nah, I, I love, I love that boy. <laughs> I love him, and the same, the same goes for him. I mean, he can't stay fit as wow. Tierney can. Yeah. So they no good to Arsenal if they can't stay fit. Yes, I love him. I, I had a, I had a, a whole show about him alone on my my channel last year. So there's so much, so much to talk about him, but if he's not fit, I'm sorry, uh, he's no good to Arsenal, irrespective. Any any player for that matter that can't stay fit is no good to any team. Mm. Do you think he's going to go the way of Jack Wilshere? Just injury, yeah. right in his career, yeah. Mm. Maybe. Yeah. Um, so. Another person who can't stay fit, though, most of the time is Party, but we uh, we're sort of dependent on him. Quite a bit. Well, we're not the same team without him. Eh? Yeah, no. no, we're not. Do you think also we need? Comes... To, do you think we need to get someone in in that position though? Then in January, to that's better okay. than party that we can can rely on. We, 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 I had a long conversation about this. I mean, the thing is, like, you can bring in a top like player, but then will they be happy sitting on the bench for Arsenal? And then he made the point, well, mm -hmm. they do it for Man City, but then I was like, but well, we don't. We're not Man City now. We don't have the money, the depth. And I don't think someone, a top, you know, player will be happy. So we've got the, you know, when El Nenny's back, we do have backup. But I mean, will Douglas Luiz be happy just sitting on the bench waiting for party to get injured? You know, look, 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 look at Leno, he left. So I'm not so sure that we, as Arsenal, can bring in a top, you know, someone to cover here. And we do have cover. It just uh, we just happen now that we don't, you know, he's injured. El Nenny's injured. That's all. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think, I think if we get a player very similar to part or at least the quality of party um and and you know you need to you need to sort of sell it to him and convince him to say look there is rotation in the team and i mean when if you remember when when Atleta came in he was very very uh the type of person to 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 change the team um every game he changed the team obviously to see if he could if he could change or, or see his first 11 but you got to sell it to a player like louise or or somebody similar to to art to, to to party is that um there's going to be rotation in the in in the team and and for you to help us to get to that cl position surely you're going to have game time and i think um that is how they got the likes of of zinchenko over the line 
is that um, you know he's gonna get that game time. He's probably gonna be uh, uh, the the person to change the game for us in in in, in going into the ch- Champions League. So that is that is something that you need to to sort of try and convince them. And you know, um, business is business, so you, you gotta convince these guys to come, and they must come, really. Just with the the substitutions, um, I can't remember. Is it only five just for this season, then back to three next season, or are they sticking to the five? Um, I'm not sure about that actually, because that would make it very interesting in terms of who or signings and how they actually come to the club because if you've got five subs for next season you know that you don't have to play party for every game or you can bring him off on 60 minutes 65 minutes bring on the other guy you're still playing 30 minutes of football or vice versa so you can rotate the players i mean like panel said earlier i mean you've got league cup fa cup europa league and league all starting from from jan so that's too much football for Thomas Party to even be playing. So yeah. you think of cup games. Um, People are just then, prioritize, won't they? And then um, they play the B teams for the cup games, I guess. Yeah, that and also mm-hmm. the fact that you could target games and you could say, all right, we're playing um, Wolves this weekend. Do we need Party for that game to break up play? Probably not. Um, mm-hmm. And so on. Then you could you could bring these guys in and actually give Party the break he needs, other than overplaying where he's stretching in the middle by himself. Yeah, you make a good point. I yeah. think also with Champions League will be easier as well. You're right. I mean, CL football to yeah. bring some yeah. top players. Right, we're going to move on from. Um, from who are you going to play against Brighton? Sorry, Sorry but, uh, Brighton. You know, is it Carabao next week? Is it? Who, what what team do you reckon we're going to play? Like youth against Brighton or? Uh, the Europa League side. Got to be, uh, it's got to be our, it's got to be our B team, like full yeah. B team though. Can't Let's play, play the fifteen-year-old. Uh, can't play any no. senior team no. players in yeah. that. It'd be foolish to, I think. <clears throat> um, Agreed. Yeah. Right, moving on to the quiz quickly because we're running out of time. Did anyone get the anagram? No, I did. Right, I'm going to give you a really clue, a big clue now. It can be, his name can be shortened quite considerably. Okay, so there's one of them Brazilians in. Uh, Gilberto? No. Even shorter. Uh, you said there's the Brazilians in there. <laughs> Could be. <It's> a, <laughs> most Brazilians have massive long names that can be shortened <laughs> a lot. Edu? Well, Gabby. Oh, he's done it. I do. I have to <laughs> Yep, yes. it is Edu. Wow, what a name. <laughs> yep, epic name. Um, right, next question. Sure. Um, so, on December, on 23rd of December 2001, in its first win at Anfield since August uh, 1992, the Arsenal beat Liverpool 2 1 in a Premier League tie, playing most of the game with only 10 men. Which gunner was sent off in the 36th minute of the match? Five bonus points if you remember who scored the Arsenal goals without looking on the internet. Yeah. <laughs> so, who was sent off? Uh, Martin Keown, Ray Parler, or Van Bronckhorst? C. Van Bronckhorst? You know that. It's... Alex? Oh, C. C? C, C. Ivan? I haven't a clue, but I'll go with B. That would be. Do you know it, George? Ah, uh, I'm, I'm going to go with the obvious. Let's do Martin Keown. <laughs> <laughs> Gangster. <laughs> and the answer was. Ah, well yeah, done, Martin, 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 Martin. Martin. Well done. Martin. Excellent. Yeah. Uh, right, last question. I've got one more question. Um, I was born on, on 24th of September 1965 in Sweden. I signed for Arsenal in May 1990, winning the league title in my first season with the team. In 1994, I left for Everton, winning the FA Cup in my first season there. Who am I? He's my favourite player. I got a little card on my backboard. I'll, 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 I'll leave it to the panel. I think we might have had him in before, but on a different yeah. question. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I'm very sure you said the same thing before. <laughs> you remember, you remember, yeah. Was, the reason I became an Arsenal fan, actually, because I, I liked it so much. I just loved him. Yeah, go on. So, nice. Good Any ideas, guys? 
Yo, I'm, f I'm stunned. No, he was uh, he was a mid midfield maestro. Midfield maestro. He scored against Man U. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, what's his face uh, with all the hair? Yes, Ivan. Uh, uh, the Yunberg. Yunberg. No, 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 he came later. No, Leo's like two thousand two. Oh, oh, man. man, I think it's Ivan. You said it. Did you say Ivan? Lundgren or something like that. No, um, no, it, he's, okay, he's, he scored, he scored in the FA Cup against Chelsea. No, 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 did he? That's Lindbergh. No. That's Freddie. Oh, Lindbergh, yeah, yeah Freddy, that's the yeah. one I was thinking of. Yeah, okay, <laughs> no, 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 this is a bit bolder. Okay, no, so Anders, no, Anders, Anders, it's Anders, 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 yeah, 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 ah, yeah, okay, vintage player, absolutely, uh, yeah. Yeah. Enjoy amazing player well. back in the day, yeah. awesome, mm -hmm. right? Week ahead, then quickly, um, because it is, uh seven o'clock here uh nine o'clock where you are um uh yeah so uh zurich coming up um uh, we've already touched on that chelsea we've got to field the strongest team for that um uh any potential uh upsets at the weekend chelsea uh, i don't know um, do you think we'll beat chelsea yeah. who thinks we'll beat chelsea no. i'm interested depends which Ooh, Chelsea. i'm not up. sure uh, if that's one is that, for me there's one fixture out of the remaining ones and this was a few a few games ago that i could see as dropping points it'd be chelsea but and they'll be looking to bounce back after that brighton defeat as well won't they so i don't know yeah, I that see as one dropping points potentially. yeah what's the better yeah it's the gonna be aston villa united uh, that's gonna be a tough one for for aston villa to bounce back yeah. and of course um Tottenham Spurs, liverpool, liverpool. Yeah. That'll be interesting, won't it? Mm, very. At Spurs. Yeah, both well. both of them can lose for my for my sake. Yeah. I think it's a must win <laughs> game for Liverpool, isn't it? Really, to a... must win. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Here's a potential like dark horse banana skin. That's Southampton Newcastle. There you go. Wow. I reckon. I yeah, that's think, a dog. Yeah. Isn't that a yeah. dog, Alex? Southampton are quite difficult to beat on their own ground. We're... Yeah, they are. As we yeah. found out, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> there you go. Um, so yeah, Chelsea head to heads. Yeah, we uh, Eddie uh, pulled out all the stops, didn't he, last season? Um, can can anyone see him starting against Chelsea this time around? Mm, no, no, no. no. <laughs> right. But no. I, I I have him on for for at least a goal. Yeah, do you think he'll come on mm. and score, do you? I'm sure he'll come on and have a goal. Mm. Can I just, and, Morgan and unless Arteta does something strange by putting Eddie up front and Gabby on one of the wings. Probably. <laughs> that's that's also that's... a good idea, Ali. You've got to, you, I mean, we don't have a sucker. If you don't want to play, if you don't want to play, what's his face? Nelson. 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 You, can, you can put the change in there and, and tweak it a bit. Mm. That's a good one. Um, predictions then? Um for let's go with the uh, Alex go with both um uh Arsenal Zurich go for the Zurich yeah um Arsenal what's that 3-1 three, 3-1 one. Three, one, yeah yeah okay uh Chelsea Chelsea I'm going for a 3 0 win you know when well, you're taking my one <laughs> <laughs> glenwin uh i'm gonna go zurich four nil and uh we're gonna concede against chelsea it's one three hmm. ivan i say two nil arsenal over zurich and then one two against chelsea Chelsea won Arsenal two. Right, I'm gonna go mm. Mm. three nil, Zurich. Not to Zurich. Three nil Arsenal against Zurich. There we go. <laughs> Let's get that one straight. Uh, I'm gonna, uh, all the score lines that have already been taken. I'm, I'm gonna repeat someone yeah. else's. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go two one Arsenal against oh. Chelsea. Optimism. Graphics team. 
No, George, <laughs> right. <laughs> George. Like no, right, just George, man. It's like I'm Brazilian now, just George. Okay. Yeah. Just George. <laughs> um, I think we're going to lose 5 0 to Zurich. And, like, you know, with Arteta's job on the line, we're going to come back and win 1 0. No, no, I'm joking. Okay, so I think um, I think we'll be tied to against Zurich. I think they did, they'll just be bland. I think they're tied. So. No, no, no. Take it off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. What epic, epic fucking uh, let's, let's do, um, no, I think it'll be close. Fine, fine. I think it'll be like what, one, what, one nil. Just, just, I think it'll be like one of those crap games. One nil. Mm. And then, uh, yeah, who's, who, I think Brandon's got my, um, got my scoreline. I was going to go three, two as well. So three, I'm with Brandon there. Three, two to us. Well, no negativity in those score lines. Let's, uh, let's hope we pull it out of the back. I love the positivity there. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, cool. On the uh, predictor game front, um, have these um, have these have these scores been updated? I don't know if they have. Have they? Yes, um, they have. Because oh, I see yes, they I'm have. there. No. Oh, good. Um, I am not doing so well. Down in ninth. I don't think I've I don't think I've put any scores in recently actually. And whatever scores I do put in don't reflect what I say on this show. Um so um yeah, but uh, don't forget to uh, to go on the website and uh, and and play the predict game. And um I think there are prizes at the end, I think. Um otherwise yeah. Yes, Alex I Anderson agree with you. Did start playing, yeah. <laughs> yes, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> um so um last but not least the uh winning question of the show which george is oh, going God. to select <laughs> really really yes okay. um, <laughs> this no, is I, your I moment thought, i thought no i agree with Glenn, i thought um yassine's question was quite um oh, yeah yassine's question about um draw against the saints and psv good wake-up call to allow us to reset and not allow complacency to set in as whenever Man City are within touching distance, I can't read my writing off top spot. I seem to be up for performance and reclaim top spot. There, there you go, that one. Well done, Yassine, um, for winning the uh, the question of the show. Um, so there is a choice of gifts. It is the uh, set of glasses, or there's a beanie hat, or there's a pirate's voucher. So uh, take your pit out of that lot. I think you've got to um, collect it from Warren. Um, uh, pretty soon, I think by um, by the weekend or by the end of the weekend. So if you can um, if you can sort that out with Warren, that'd be great. Um, yeah, that is it. Um, don't forget um, mm. Ronnie's podcast again. Um, and uh, yeah, thanks everyone for coming on the show, and uh, thanks for all the questions, guys. Always appreciated. Thank you. And um, yeah, yeah we shall so, hopefully see you after a Chelsea win, and uh, when we've won the Europa, won, the, won our group in the Europa League. <laughs> cool. say, if we get if we get to Budapest, are we gonna, are we going to do a show in Budapest? Like all like I think I might Budapest. go to Budapest. Are you going to go to Budapest? Yeah, I'd, I'd like to go. Get, yeah, I'm going to try and get to Budapest. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> if we don't get arrested, boy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> with, the, with the Spurs fans, a fight on the plane. Uh, yeah, okay. yeah, I won't make it. Thank God I'm coming to Africa, not London. Anyway. Um, awesome. Cheers, guys. I'll see Thanks, you uh, next week. Cheers, guys. Yeah. Yep. Okay, Take care, guys. Thank you. Cheers, Jim. Cheers. Cheers. Bye. 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 Bye.